Now we can come out over to Dreamweaver here, and we're going to start doing some basic PHP. Um, I've set up a uh, website definition already for this. If you don't know how to do that, please refer to our uh, building a website series. And we're going to switch over to local view here. We're going to create a new page. So control N. Um, the page type is going to be PHP. Uh, no special layouts here. We'll keep it on none. Let's say create. Um, and with PHP, in order to put PHP code in our document, all we need to do is simply make some PHP tags. Now anything we do inside um, this tag here is going to be PHP, or it's going to expect PHP. If we do any HTML in here, uh, it without telling PHP we're going to do HTML in here, it, it'll give an error. On the, way, on the page probably won't load. Um, first things first, we'll title our document. And let's go ahead and save. And we'll call this index. So, with a PHP document, it's no different than an HTML document except for the fact that it's got a PHP extension and that allows the browser to know that we are planning to use some PHP in here. Other than that, it's pretty much just an HTML document. Um, we'll just leave these here. We'll use them later. Let's come up here to the top of the document and do some more PHP tags. And this is something to mention too. You can, you can have as many chunks of PHP code as you want all over the, the document. Um, up here at the top, we're going to start out by creating our connection to the MySQL database. So let's, uh, in good form, make a comment here. And we're going to go ahead and make some uh, variable definitions here. And to save time, let's go ahead and copy this line and paste it three times. And we're going to make the password. And the host name. And the database. Name. Um, password. We'll put in your password. Um, I'm going to keep that hidden here. I don't want you guys getting into my database. And the host name is going to be localhost. And the database name in this case is vidbasics. Alright, so now we have these variables defined and we're going to get into, if you, if you don't know what we're doing here, we'll probably make some tutorials here later that go through the very basics of PHP. This tutorial is, is for someone who has at least a little bit of knowledge in PHP. The next thing we're going to do is create a variable that's going to hold the entire connection. We'll call it DBC for database connection equals and I'm just going to copy paste this chunk here so I don't have to type it out. And what this is, is it's going to call the MySQLI underscore connect function. And it's going to toss in the four parameters it's looking for, which is our database host, user, password, and database name. And it's saying or die. Um, and this is if in case anything is wrong here with our connection, it's going to um, output this message to the uh, browser 
um, along with whatever the actual MySQL error is, which is what this function does here. Um, we'll go ahead and save. And now we have our connection, so we can actually start pulling results. Um, before we do so, let's go ahead and um, create, um, do some HTML to house our results in a digestible format. So what we're all we're going to do is we're going to create a table that lists the uh, our different uh, authors on the site. So let's go ahead and start a table. And we're going to add a row. And if you don't know anything about um, what I'm doing right now, you can check out our basic HTML tutorial on tags. We're going to create a table column here. And let's flip over to our database really quick. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's create seven columns here. And we're going to title these columns here. And um, I did not make these in the exact same order that we put them in the database, and that's okay. And you'll see why here shortly when we start pulling the results. Um, let's go ahead and copy this whole block of code here and paste it below. And let's just go ahead and strip out the contents here. We're going to end up using this row here to house our results and we'll go ahead and save and let's go ahead and upload control shift u and we'll say no for dependent files and if we switch over to firefox here and view our page here we have our um, table header and of course nothing else below because those rows are empty